What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video and today we're going to be making an expanded PVC control board for my aquarium. Let's get started. So my plan is this. I got two one quarter inch sheets of expanded uh, PVC foam board and I'm gonna put them back to back. Now I plan on doing 24 inch run and then 34 inches up here and then the eight inches could be going backwards away from the front part. But if I kind of flip it and have the eight inches as wings on the side here and then the back panel being here, I would have more room to mount. I mean, granted, I could just put it in there and flip it around until I figure out how I like it, but it's gonna be a pain. So I think I'll try this design and see how that works out. The main reason why I'm doing this is because you saw in the previous video, I'm trying to mock up the plumbing with some uh, cheap white PVC and uh, it's just I need to get this board in place that way I kind of know what I'm playing with right now because as of now there's just too many ways I can go with the plumbing and it kind of is bothering me I know if I have this in place I will definitely have to do it so let's get started on this board all right so I will have two pieces that are 24 by 34 which is gonna be this main area here. I want this to be 34 inches tall by eight inches wide to kind of make a side wing. However, I only have the large sections being 24 by 14. So if I make them, if I cut these down the middle, I'd have two 24 inch by seven sections because Granted, I know these are all going to be doubled up. I mean, I could do the quarter inch on the sides and then I would have, it'd be the full eight inches. Oh man, mm. this is going to be interesting. All right, let's think, what am I going to do? I mean, the difference between seven and eight inches is only one inch, right guys? I mean, you can insert whatever joke you want here, but that one inch, it does matter when you're mountain fish aquarium stuff. Hmm, man, this is gonna be a tough decision. What am I gonna do? So after a quick Google and watching a couple videos, you could just cut this with a circular saw. I'm not sure what type of blade because no one really went into detail over it, but I'm gonna use my circular saw and just chop off uh, the edge and see how it works. And surprisingly, Expanded PVC foam board is used for cosplay. I have no idea. People are like making armor and stuff out of it, LARPing, I don't know. If you want to do it, I guess you could do it, but I'm just gonna use this to mount my controllers. No need to make elven armor out of this. So just marked it up. My plan is to cut both boards at the same time by clamping them down, but you gotta be careful because this board is, I mean, you look at it, you will nick it. So uh, hopefully I make a nice clean cut and everything is good. We'll see. I cannot believe how well that fits in here. That is perfect. Now let's see how the sides look with it. Okay, so the sides are on. And keep in mind, I'm probably gonna move this forward another two inches, that way it's not flush up against the back. And then I'll have a little bit of play. And I've only put the single boards in as of now. I'm probably gonna double them all up and take off the protective uh, layer on it. And then I'm thinking about, like, I'm probably gonna glue them together, the pieces, maybe, or I could just kind of use fine screws, I got smaller screws, I could screw them in in the four corners, but that seems to be about what I'm gonna be doing with this. Let me look from the other side and see. So when you would open it up, you would have this here. Granted it is, you know, on the back side and it's butted up against the tank. Let me move it and see how it's gonna look. So if I did that, it would give me about two inches the space back here to unplug things and move it around and access this. That would be more than enough. I think the seven inches is actually gonna work out better than the 
eight inches if I do it that way. Yes, I know that pipe in the background's annoying me. I'm just trying to figure out how everything would go together and I figured this is the most important piece to put up first. And then I'd also have a little bit of access here and I could see things a little bit better. Hmm. All right, let's put this together. So after a quick Google, I kind of realized that I need to figure out how to put these boards together. And since they're PVC, they should technically hold together with PVC cement from what a Google said. So my plan is to use PVC cement on the side panels and put them together and hopefully make a nice bond and we'll see how that goes. So I will let you guys know if this works and you'll be there along for this journey with me. All right, so apparently you can just PVC cement this thing together. So we will see how this goes. It's been about 10 minutes and yeah, can't pull, wow, that you really can't pull that apart. These boards are fused together. Well, time to do it for the other guys. And well, there's a little gap here. That's cause, uh, this piece. I don't think that's gonna be too noticeable. Yep, all right, on to the next ones. So I have to say, I'm really impressed with how this turned out. I mean, these boards were easily PVC glued together and they are not coming apart. I mean, I didn't put that much PVC glue on it and it's just, it's working great. I couldn't have asked for it to work out any better than this. So pretty much I got a, what is it? A 24 by 48 inch half sheet when you combine them together for the grand total of 70 bucks, which is way better than if you were to get it on, you know, Marine Depot or Bulk Reef Supply with those control boards. Plus now I'm gonna use these little grommets. So I'm planning on drilling holes in this and figuring out where I want my controllers placed. Now I do know at the top, I'm gonna to have the apex, but farther down, I'll have like my different controls for my Reef Octopus and my return pump, somewhere in that area. So let's get started. I'm gonna plan this out, figure out where exactly I want all the holes drilled. So I'll probably do three across the middle and two at the bottom, since I only got five of them. And then for the sides, I'm not sure if I wanna mount anything on them just yet, but it's always an option. So I have it roughly laid out how I want it. So the energy bar 832 will be up here, and this is roughly about 10 inches, and that's about how wide the energy bar 832 is. And it's gonna be six inches, which is about this size right there. So that represents the energy bar 832 at the top. And then obviously I'd have the brain of the apex at the top as well. Down here, I would obviously move this one down, have a row of my Octopulse and my J-Bow pumps. I'll have one, two, three of the grommets up top. And then I'll probably do one, two of the grommets down here and get this thing going. I don't know, should I paint those grommets blue? That would kind of look cool. It matched the theme. I do have blue spray paint. I might do a test on it. All right, so as you saw, pretty easy to do this except my drill bit kind of jacked up on my hole saw and I had to use my backup hole saw kit. And for some reason, the two inches on the one I initially started off with fit perfectly and the other one was just slightly big. So I went down to one and three quarter inches and kind of tried to make the hole bigger and a little sloppy. Wasn't big enough, now I'm trying to file it down. This is so annoying. So I jerry-rigged it to work with the old hole saw again and I'm gonna drill the final two holes at the bottom. So I'll be back at you with this. I don't feel like you wanna see a time lapse of me trying to file this hole and make it bigger. That's what she said. All right, so my plan is to use the PVC cement and just put the PVC cement on that corner. And I've been waiting for this thing to dry. I mean, I don't know, we'll see if this is gonna work, but if not, I might have to end up screwing the sides on or just doing away with the sides entirely because I don't know if it's gonna work. We'll see. And there you have it. So the PVC glue works to bind the boards together, but does not work if you have like the little edges. 
I'd recommend drilling it because, I mean, drilling it was super easy. I used uh, one inch screws, wasn't a big deal, didn't even use a pilot hole, and you can back it out real easy if you need it to. Half inch didn't work because obviously a quarter and a quarter comes a half inch and it wouldn't penetrate. I don't think I'd use three quarter of an inch. I would definitely use half inch. Now, but when you mount your stuff on the board, I probably would use three quarter inch. I'm not sure if these half inch that I have will work and hold everything flush, but we'll see when I get to mounting it. Now, I think I'm gonna put this under the tank, see what it looks like, and then I'm going to bed. I am tired. Oh man, that thing barely fit in here. Holy cow. That is a tight fit. I'm so glad that this thing fit just perfectly and snug in here. I mean, I could not be happier. This looks amazing. I still have the protective cover on it. So let's rip that puppy off and start looking at how we're gonna plumb everything. So this looks great, I can't believe it. Come down here, you can see perfect. This protects all the electronics, gives it a little support here. Make sure that there's no, you know, backsplash or anything that will hit this or any, you know, overflowing skimmer, which will probably be in this chamber here. I mean, that looks great. Goes all the way up to the top, fits perfectly. And then when you swing over to the other side, sorry, tight fit right now. I mean, it looks just spectacular. I can already see it now. EB8 Apex Brain return. Octo pulse, octo pulse, and then I got the bottom. I mean, shoot, I could even put my dosing containers in here if I wanted to. I mean, or just mount something on the side. I don't know. Like, it's just great. I cannot believe how well this turned out. And for $75, I believe I got each board for 35 bucks. You know, spent some time working on this, but it's, it's great. I'm really happy with it. Now, when I said get to plumbing, I built this because I had too many options on my plumbing and I needed something to confine me and give me like restrictions because once this board's here, I have a better idea of where I can and can't put the plumbing. So guys, this was awesome. I would highly recommend this. The little grommets that I got here, they're the two inch, uh, yeah, the two inch grommets for like cord management. That was like $5 on Amazon. I mean, it's super cheap. So I'm in this $75, yeah. I'll send you a link in the description below for everything I used. And I obviously had to have a hole saw or a, yeah, hole saw and the PVC cement and some screws. But I mean, come on, that's like cheap. And most of the DIYers out there already have that stuff. So this is my control board. I'm super happy with it. I'll catch you guys next time.